So now we're going to get into funny is funny. funny is funny. <laughs> okay. So everybody knows, everybody in production. 40 minutes I love it though, because this podcast is like Pulp Fiction. Oh yeah. That's what's great about it. You know, we do here, then we go to a side story, we go to here, here, and it all comes back around. So why did- Whoa. Yeah. More like Reservoir. No, no. More like Reservoir you Dogs. Know what, dude? I think a little more. You're a little piece of shit, huh? <laughs> you know, you know what- you're a little piece of shit out because it's like, let me tell you something. When I was on Mad and they were looking for a Latino guy, you I did seemed to, pull for me. I seem to remember me pulling for you. Pull, Bobby, bit. Bobby pulled for me for about five years, and they they didn't want anything to do with me, and they went through everybody else, and they didn't like anybody else. Well, names are going to be left out on this one, but they went through everybody else audition. You remember that? Yeah. Everybody else audition. Yeah. And then finally, it comes to th- that year, and then. Bobby's like, I told you about this guy five years ago. And then David's all right. well, I guess I'll well, let's take a look at him for <laughs> but every- And then what does he say after that? Every time we had a table meeting or some table he uh, table read or meet, he'd go, Well, I finally got my Latin guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I should have yeah. listened to Bobby five years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they cancel the next season. I got two I got say it best, Bobby. What did you say? You got fucked. I got fucked. Uh. I'll tell you why Johnny got fucked because Johnny got onto Mad TV at the last two years of it, mm. which they cut funding. Right, they weren't. I mean, uh-huh. they were out. This was like, remember. Do you remember the last season? <laughs> they go. It was already bad enough. The budget, the, the budget funding, and all that was bad enough on on the thirteenth season. Fourteen. Remember they would go. Hey, look. Um. About the takes, each take. Right. They go. Um. I mean, we'd like to have it in one. Right. But we have to have it in two. Oh my gosh, the pressure! And this, yeah. when he was on it early, how many takes did you guys used to do in front 40, of live? Forty something. I mean, they just kept going and going and going, yeah. and they were to the point where like we we got to shoot once or so everybody. So now the added pressure of like you can't you don't want to flub your lines, oh you don't want. Gosh. So now that takes you kind of out of the moment and whatever. But yeah, I came in if if Salzman Salzman had listened to you. Um, oh, by the way, whisper out David Salzman. Whisper out. Whisper out. Whisper out. Whisper David Salzman. David Salzman. Um, Can we go back it, to Funny is Funny or no? Anyway, I just worked with him. I'll tell you about that. Who, but, David? Yeah. He's a great guy. He is great. I do love him. He's great. Me too. He's a good uh, boss. He's still great. To, he was still great to work with. Yeah. Uh, so Funny is Funny. They all know our sets. Mm-hmm. Mm. They know exactly what we're going to be doing. Uh, matter of fact, Freddie was one of the writers on it. So Freddie knew everybody's sets on top of it. Settle, yeah. So what basically they were doing was they don't want the host... To step on anybody's material while, you know, uh, the shows are going. So they they tell him, so-and-so's talking about this. So-and-so. So Carlos was hosting. And they knew that I was, I think I was last yeah, on that. You were, you were, myself yeah. you and were the late. other guy. You were really late. On the show, yeah. Yeah. And I, at that time, I had this, my closer, my this killer closer bit called Parking in My Parking. One of the best jokes I've ever heard. It was, it was a, about a, it was literally five minutes long. Amazing. It was about this Persian, Persian guy who was screaming at everybody because someone was parked behind his car and he was just screaming out, who's parking in my parking? <laughs> <laughs> From different person, he was calling the apartment intercom. You know the intercom yeah, center? Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. And people, they don't even know who's calling. They'd be like, hello. He's like, is this your parking? In my fucking parking? <laughs> who's parking in my parking? So yeah. It was my closer bed. I Destroy. It, it, it would destroy. Destroy, destroy. destroy the room. Destroy. Yeah. And this was early, dude. This is, you got to remember, this is mid, late 90s where this is pre-9-11. This is, I mean, people, stuff like that was just fun and fodder for yeah. yeah. It was great. So Carlos knows this. Mm. So in between the, 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 the transition that I'm going to be on the next show, there was two of us on the next show. So they're going to bring up this one guy and whatever. So... He in between. They're gonna bring up. Did they bring up the first guy? And then I don't gonna, fucking remember, dude. I can't remember where he did it, but basically, I'm up. Ne- I'm up next, and he decides to do this bit on Iraq. Yeah, the Iraq War, and he goes into this. Lo- and first of all, everybody's like, remember Pat Buckles comes running and goes, what the, what the fuck is he doing? Because that wasn't anything that he, he was had told to that do. was, that he was supposed- mm. So they already knew, but. He does what three, four minutes on? Yeah, you know, you could to hear my friend. No, fuck you, my friend. But so he's wearing this accent out. Oh, now I know what the fuck he's doing. We all know what the fuck he's doing, but he played like he didn't know 
Oh, fuck. That's right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fucking Johnny's got that fuck. Fuck. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> only way, I wasn't even going to go on. I said, well, fuck it. Then. Oh, you were yeah. livid. That's how I, I remember. I was like, I'm just going to leave right now. Yeah. We were at the Melrose Improv. I was like, I was, just, I was just getting ready to walk out. I said, fuck it. So, they said, okay, here's what he's, he's going to go up to the audience and he's going to explain it to them. So, this was, I don't even know if this made it better or worse. I think it made it worse. Go but ahead. in between, he goes, hey, look, dude, look, fuckers. So that bit that I just did, the dude coming up next has something similar to what I was doing. <laughs> similar, <laughs> similar to what you were doing? Yeah, yeah, Are yeah. you kidding me? Yeah. yeah. You yeah. knew I had that bit for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it made it worse. Then. Wow. So then the, so he goes, so, so just laugh. You know, oh. give it up. You know, don't <laughs> think about fucking me and yeah, my yeah. fucking thing. Oh, right. It's crazy. <sighs> anyway. I know. It's crazy. That's the story. Yeah. And then and then now you know why I wouldn't have gone on the road after that anyway. Yeah. Because I got asked by him after that anyway. So you know what I mean? I, I still do believe that it might have helped you mm -hmm. to go on the road with him. but you Probably would have, dude. But you... You know, have certain principles and ethics, and yeah. um, but you're right. But but you can't have too much pride, though. Pride's bad. Pride's not good. You know, pride can that can fuck things up for you, man. That's why I'm going to Montreal because um, for years I've said on podcasts, probably a thousand of them, for years, M Montreal doesn't like me. I've never been invited. Yeah. They hate me. This and that, right? But then what happened was the last three or four years they've been asking. But still, on podcasts, I'd be like, fuck them. They hate yeah. me, yeah. right? When they're inviting me, right? <laughs> so one day, I was at the comedy store, and um, one guy from Montreal was talking to me in the parking lot. And I got, not this year, man, or whatever. And he walks away, and Howie Mandel was there. And he was like, what was that about? Because I'm going to Montreal. I go, And I told him, that they haven't never invited me, and now they are. And he said, you should never make decisions based on resentment. Especially in this business, you should do Montreal. That's a that's that's actually really good advice, right? And so yeah. I go the next time they asked, I said yes, which was this year. So you're going in when a couple in a weeks? A couple weeks, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh wow! Now which shows are you doing? I'm hosting the dirty shows, and then I'm also doing a couple of like a gala and then a televised thing. But I'm doing wow. it. Well, good but, for you. But man. it's yeah, but that's the same thing. It's like we have these as standups, yeah, these little resentments and like a list. I don't know if you, but I have a list in my pocket of of guys that have yeah. fucked me. Yeah. Or yeah, guys that have I said know. things, right? Oh man. And then you try to lash out in your own way, and it's not healthy. It never no. works out. You never feel better about it, right? Yeah. So um, I'm trying to let go. Now, you know when you're there, though, you got to try to enjoy it and don't get, you know, don't get Bobby while you're there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like with your shows, you know how you get. What do you mean? Like, you know, you're going to be doing these shows. Don't start going, you know, hey, I don't like what they're doing. <laughs> they're going to hate me. You know, <laughs> Don't start doing all that. Why is it when you did an impression of me, you, you used to do the smoking thing too. Like I used to smoke a lot. Oh, right? yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to crouch down yeah. against the well, wall. Well, I'm, I'm not standing. Just, right, 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 right. Um, yeah. I really sound like that to you. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I, you sound like that for everybody, right? Is that pretty close? Yeah, it's pretty good. That's on point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, speaking of that, one time Paul, I was having a conversation with Paul Rodriguez. Oh, there's senior. A, there's a fun time. Not junior. Because there's, there's, there's a fun time who, right who there. Be like the skateboarder. No, oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. he became you know pretty big with the young people, but. He said the same thing. One time we were talking, I was like, yeah, man, if I hit big, I'm like, I'm not doing this club or that club because they treated me shitty and they wouldn't book. And then he's like, no. you know." And then he was like, do the opposite. He said he did the opposite. He goes, uh. he goes, you know, when I got my break, I went in, cabron, I charged 50000 <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he, he always extra charged mm. the clubs that were shitty to him or didn't book him before he uh, got Ah, uh, ah. Uh. 